All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Electric Boogaloo, Wild Untold Story of Canon Films, 2014. I'm giving it five out of five stars. I thought it was pretty decent, even though the, it's full of uh, people trashing uh, the, uh, two or three producers, the Israeli guys who are behind uh, <clears throat> Canon Films, the independent film company that got bought up by Warner Brothers. <laughs> And they made a bunch of crap and uh, they grew too fast uh, they started making big budget films like Superman 4 <laughs> Masters of the Universe and Over the Top and then they just uh, completely ran out of money I would have liked to have seen what exactly what happened with uh, with their bankruptcy situation and subsequent uh films after the bankruptcy before they finally folded and, uh, a couple of new I think uh, three new companies came about that sort of uh, emerged from the breakdown of Canon that was sort of interesting too but uh, basically Michael Milken was uh, financing them in the 80s the junk bond dude And uh, that's how they got their money to buy all these uh, European theater chains and whatnot. So there's the uh, there's a creative guy, and then there's the uh, money bags guy, and they're both cousins running Canon. I got a lot of background. I think I understand the company a little better. They started out churning a lot, a lot of uh, Israeli films in the early 70s, um, or just in the 1970s in general. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see all the films that I haven't seen yet. Eventually, I'll get around to seeing some of them, but uh, a lot of them I have seen. And they're sort of hit or miss, kind of like uh, they describe it. By the way, this documentary gets a very high 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb, 5,118 ratings. So pretty popular. Uh, I know um, the two uh, Israeli guys um, came out with a similar documentary called The Go-Go Boys inside story of canon films three months after this one and uh, I couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube or uh, Netflix but I did find this one um, the, uh, the official So this one is actually less popular, less known. Gets a 6.6 .6 out of 10, only 389 ratings. Um, I didn't particularly care for Alex Winter's criticism that he was getting underpaid. And the working conditions were horrible. <laughs> um, but I thought those of the criticisms were legitimate, you know, yeah. At the end of the movie, you get to see the, uh, the all the compliments that uh, these two guys get showered. Uh, that they were pioneers in their business. Uh, they had a lot of uh, energy and uh, kind of uh, uh, willing to take on risks, things like that. You know, the excesses of the '80s. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, 
like I said, I got to see a lot of uh, films that I haven't seen, a lot of films that I have seen, a lot of great films like uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, Cyborg, and uh, Runaway Train, of course. It's one of the best ones. Even Roger Ebert liked uh, Runaway Train. <laughs> so they were making low-budget films during the 80s. So eventually, they, they get a hit like Breaking. And, uh, and then they start making more films. So pretty cool business model. I don't know why they strayed away from it. If it ain't broke, fix it until it is, I guess, is what happened to Canon. Again, I'm not sure about the, uh, the chain of events that led to their demise. I think they went bankrupt. And then they had a, a little bit of a period where they were making movies, and then they completely folded around 1990, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, it would have been nice to know a little bit more about that time period during their decline after the Michael Milken uh, investment um, and the subsequent stray away from their business model um, that to me would have been interesting yeah um, I'd say Canon and um, definitely had a, uh, a major impact on uh, low budget films. I don't know why they, uh, again, I don't know why they started making big budget films straying away from their business model, but uh, nobody's perfect, I guess. They could have uh, just stayed with the ninja stuff, the uh, Chuck Norris and the Charles Bronson action stuff. And, uh, Actually, they're quite influ influential. They were saying that, uh, you know, the major studios these days just make canon films with big, bigger budgets, basically. And I guess that's what you're talking about when, when you say, uh, when you say that uh, maybe, maybe the uh, Fast and the Furious movies are overrated. I guess that's what you're talking about. Uh, this uh, this was recommended to me by uh, Karate Man, by the way. Another Karate Man recommendation, and he's in my chat room. <laughs> but you won't be able to see the chat because I put not for kids filter on it. So uh, you don't have to delete your chats because it'll be vaporized once I in the stream. <laughs> save you the trouble death wish two three and four yeah that uh that reminded me when i saw um death wish two uh, all the brutal rape scenes and uh cra crazy uh charles Bron Bron bronson blowing up the ghetto <laughs> Michael Winter craziness there. Uh, Michael Winter's in it. And, uh, yeah, they, they, they really pile on uh, Charles Bronson like he can't act. He's all washed up. But I thought he, I thought he had some decent one-liners. <laughs> like when he, he's uh, staging his car to get robbed and then he totally blast those guys who are trying to break into his car <laughs> he's got that great line I forget what he says but uh, yeah cool stuff Michael Winter I've been watching a lot of Michael Winter stuff the, the, this year <laughs> the ultimate trash director <laughs> the, uh, the bottom of the barrel kind of uh, schlockmeister dude <laughs> so uh, yeah pretty cool stuff I was impressed with this I'll post a link to the movie in the description box I forgot to do that but uh, if you look in the description box you'll see tons of 
actors' names in there as well as, as well as the two or three producers involved. So um, cool stuff. Thanks for mentioning it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, moving target. I'll have to look that one up. Thanks for the mention of that one. <laughs> now I got another one to add to my list of movies to watch. Cool. Thanks. Laters.